Look around you, and you know the answer to the question when it comes to Nate. <laughs> Was he loved, and did he love well? The answer is yes. Nate could get the most out of every young man at the right moment. He proved that you didn't have to be the biggest, fastest, or strongest. You just have to give 110%. When Nate and Jake were old enough to understand, I gave them a motto to live by that my coach gave to me. The four P's, poise, purpose, pride, and precision. I want all the Blue Jays to remember the four P's and what Coach Danneman gave to you. My family and I want to thank the Blue Jay Nation for all their love and support. We will be forever grateful. We love you. Thank you. I've seen lately on social media, I've heard great tributes from young people that he has touched and how he influenced all the people around him in a positive way because Nate was all in. To quote a special friend of the family, Nate always did the right thing for the right reason. And when it came to his family, he was a wonderful husband and a super dad because when it came to his family, he was all in. Nate would kick sometimes for the scout team and he would run on the field, bring in the mule, bring in the mule. And he was a great for a practical joke here and there on someone, definitely at their expense. I understand we're all hurting. We have questions of why, life's not fair. Unfortunately, it's not our job to do this. I do ask that you not put a question mark where God's put a period. It's a tough pill to swallow. God has a plan. We're just not privy to it. Nate has brought us together. And my guess is, is he would want you to take some time to treasure the people close to you. He would want you to take some time to say what you need to say to each other.